All right. You are tuned to KGVM Bozeman. We are Gallatin Valley Community Radio. We're on your radio dial at 95.9 FM, and we're online at kgvm.org. Right now, we're in the music box, courtesy of Logan Productions, and uh, we're doing another collaborative effort tonight. You can listen to us on the radio. You can watch us on the interwebs. If you close your eyes and imagine, maybe you can see us on the moon. Um, and tonight, we're here with Fountain Street Theater. And uh, hi, guys. Thanks for coming in, and uh, thanks for, to Pat for setting this up. Um, I was wondering if you'd want to just introduce yourselves and do the, the usual. Sure, sure. Well, I'm not band leader Garrett. I play the banjo. Yeah, I'm uh, not band leader Eli, and I play the guitar. I am not band leader Alex, and I play the mandolin. I'm not band leader Brendan, and I play the bass. <laughs> Seems like a pretty egalitarian setup you got going here. Um, so you guys, uh, how long have you been playing as, as Fountain Street Theater? Uh, about 14 months, yeah. Uh, Garrett, Alex, and I got together November of 2019. Uh, Brendan came in in March 2020, right before everything went haywire. Yeah, well, that was timing, huh? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's his fault. <laughs> oh, man, that's a, that's a heavy weight to bear with your... But your bandmates are giving you the stink eye. That's why he's <laughs> not the band leader. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you guys have been playing in other bands around for a while, I think, haven't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I played with Amanda Stewart and Sweet Sage for quite a while before that. I played guitar for a little while with Cole and the Thorns. Um, yeah. Yeah, I was gigging a lot in Vermont before I moved back here. Uh, been September 2019. So as soon as I moved out here, I put a Craigslist ahead and met these guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been playing locally in Bozeman with uh, Lazy Susie back a couple years ago, and then Lazy Owl String Band. We haven't played played together in a while, but and then these guys. Yeah. So uh, I think I remember seeing last summer you guys were some of you were playing with Amanda Stewart doing some. Some things outdoors during the the time of the crud, <laughs> the Rona summer. Yeah, yeah. Garrett, uh, Brendan, and I were, I guess, uh, her backing band. We played up at Lone Mountain Ranch every Wednesday. Yeah, I yeah. subbed every once in a while. Cool. So, uh, um, I imagine you guys are ready and chomping at the bit to get out there and actually start playing again. So. We'll, sure we'll maybe am. jump right in here if you want to play a couple songs. Sure. This next song is called Trash. One, two, five, six, seven, eight. So I had a box to pack all your things into the garage Cause I couldn't bring myself to throw it all away I can't keep carrying on like I did before I guess I'm okay keeping on, keeping for Yeah, I don't need all those fancy things to help keep me safe Anymore, Cause I don't hear the things that you say I'm okay He's okay Being on my own and I'm lonely no, 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 I'm not stressing anymore Cause I don't hear the things that you say
Pacific Ocean Blues. have a an EP that you've put out is that right that is correct yeah we put it out with uh, Joe Capella out of uh, Cottage Street Audio Cottage Street Audio yeah <laughs> cool. Cottage Audio Labs Cottage yeah. Audio Labs <laughs> 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 yeah, he was great to work with it was really fun yeah is it uh, digital only or do you have hard copy CDs or uh, you could text me for a CD but you can find it on Spotify Amazon uh, Napster and all your other major <laughs> and all those digital places. Yeah. 
PlayStation Store. Yeah, PlayStation <laughs> Store. songs on the EP? None of them. No? No, these are all originals, but none of them made the, made yeah. the EP. Are you guys uh, thinking about uh, the next one? or 
Yeah, we've been thinking about it since the fall. Um, COVID's kind of slowed a lot of things down. <laughs> yeah. So we've just been working on getting the structure of a tune down, making sure the songs are, are good before we go into the studio. Yeah. Well, you've been kind of getting some new material ready. and Yeah, we almost can't keep up with the material we're writing. We're writing so much nowadays. Yeah. I've been, you know, I think different people kind of uh, experienced the whole Rona shutdown differently. And I think some people have been super productive and some people have been super depressed and unproductive and so it sounds like you're on the better side of that scale i was telling him the other <laughs> night i always think of, you ever see the phantom toll booth that old cartoon from the 60s <laughs> where that kid gets stuck in the doldrums and he's like cruising through all the muck in the mire when it's stuff like this it's so easy to get caught in the muck in the mire and you just got to keep keep your head up and keep going through it because the second you put your chin down you're just gonna get stuck <laughs> yeah is uh um, I mean, I don't know. So it seems to me like bluegrass is good music to help avoid that, right? I mean, it's even murder ballads sound happy. So yeah, I don't know if it's avoiding it or tapping into it. Well, you know? true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think it's just kind of been a good way to to cope with uh, with everything that's going on. I wouldn't say depression, but yeah. depression. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so no you're still kind of thinking about when when you might start recording and yeah, stuff Nothing. unfortunately our uh, money can't keep up with how many songs we have to record especially not gigging you know we don't have any yeah. money coming in so yeah you know if only there were free studios out there for that but um so yeah what to it i mean when you uh like you were just kind of coalescing right before the shutdown did i mean Maybe it was a little too early to think about what, where you were hoping to take it or anything. Do you got any ideas? Are you open to tour some or kind of hang around here? Or? We're we're open to anything at this point, but I think through this whole shutdown, we've kind of just been hanging out. <laughs> <We've> been, <laughs> yeah. It's been like we practice, you know, but it's more like hangouts and so yeah, yeah. that's what's kinda, so cool about it yeah. at the end of the day it's just drinking beer with your buds you know because we'd <laughs> be hanging out pretty much every weekend yeah. you, half the time we're just watching sports or grilling smoking wings you know <laughs> it's <laughs> not always then, not always yeah, one of our practice music centric you know a couple times we've practiced and you know the neighbors have come over and listened to us we even had an old couple what they passed us by and gave us <laughs> they 20, gave us 20 bucks. bucks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. They just stopped and listened for a while. I think we might have sold a t-shirt out of the garage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well. Needless to say, that's been our uh, the extent of our band fun for this song. Yeah. Yeah, yeah hopefully, you know, as, as things start to open up again, I think, you know, it's kind of feels like the dam has built up a lot of back pressure here. And hopefully when people can start having live music, I sort of expect... There'll be a lot of demand, a lot of opportunity, I sure hope, anyway. Um, so do you think you're kind of thinking about playing around here? Any ideas about trying to tour around any place when you can? Or uh, We take what we can get. Whatever if comes If somebody along. hires us, we'll play. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Try to get, you know, I mean, our first gig was the night before everything shut down. Um, so, oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so gig around here, yeah. get, get folks interested in listening, and then... We'll take it as far as we can go. Cool. Yeah, hopefully, you know, especially this summer, at getting outdoors and stuff, it should be, like I said, I kind of think it'll be a lot of people more than ready for it, so hopefully there are a lot of places to play. Um, yeah, you want to play a couple more? And Love to. Voices? Want to do voices? <laughs> Five, seven, nine. Run away to escape the love and amber fear Follows behind you and whispers in your ear Wish to stop those voices drawn ever near Turn around and find me or it disappear Push on and turn around the next bend just see they found you once again There it is just like that and you understand The voice inside your head is your only friend Those voices calling Voices calling Voices calling you
get back home, run inside and lock all the doors. They're already inside, hungry for more. Are they real? Are you insane? Who can be sure? Then it's like a raven calling evermore. And you can try to run, but they'll always find you. Looming overhead like the sun and the moon. Try as you might, there is nothing you can do. Wherever you may go, we'll be in pursuit. Those voices calling, voices calling, voices calling you. They're calling you. They're calling you. They're calling you. Sound like it was in G or B. That's all. <laughs> so that must be one of the new grass songs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that ain't your daddy's bluegrass. That's right, that ain't no, part of nothing. Bill might say, but <laughs> I think he might have been wrong that. there. That could have been because I was playing the wrong chords. <laughs> <laughs> that is also a newer newer song, nice. written by Garrett. Cool. The not band leader. The not band leader. <laughs> so when you guys are writing new material, how how uh, how does it work? Does somebody kind of work up a song and work it quite a ways along, or do you kind of start in together on stuff? No, it pretty really early, depends. Or? Like we're very collaborative. Like sometimes somebody will just have like a bare idea and we'll bring it to the group and like hash it out. Everybody will be like, "Hey, what if we did this for this part?" Or like everybody adds their flavor. And like sometimes somebody will bring a song that's like totally ironed out, like done, just like needs the other parts filled in. Yeah. It just really depends. Cool. Yeah. Try not to pick one way or the other. Yeah, just kind of go with whatever. And yeah. It seems like that's a lot healthier way to do it, for sure. Yeah. Cool. You got another? You want to play something more traditional? Yeah, there's some milk. Yeah. Yeah, this is a song about the dairy industry. Um, shout out to Shady Acre Farms, Highgate, Vermont. Yeah, this one's for you guys. <laughs> Find me in the silo, the milk cycle never ends. Sit food on the table, 
There's money in my pocket. The sun never stops, so there ain't no stopping. I've been working down, pulling tits all day, so I can take my mama out to dinner. The sun never stops, so there ain't no stopping. I've been working down, pulling tits all day, so I can take my mama out for dinner. I've been working down, pulling tits all day, so I can take my mama out for dinner. Yes, I can take my mama out for dinner, and then I'll fire up my tractor and give her. Nice. So if you're just tuning in, this is uh, Local Musician Spotlight and In the Music Box. And uh, we're here with Fountain Street Theater. And uh, I, pa I failed my pop culture quiz earlier. Maybe some people out of the audience are uh, a little more on the ball. Uh, where did the name for the band come from? Well, <laughs> to the audience out there, to the first responder that can find the name and the reference to Fountain Street Theater gets a one-time personal date with your banjo player truly <laughs> to any restaurant of the fast food variety of your choice. Hooba hooba. And he'll give you a t-shirt. Please be a girl. I <laughs> know <laughs> uh, it came from, uh, it's a Big Lebowski. Big Lebowski reference. It's where his landlord is doing his... Uh, his dance cycle, Crane Jackson's Fountain Street Theater. Nice. The secret has been revealed. <laughs> Damn, now I'm never going to get a date. Oh, man. Yeah, that was to prohibit him. <laughs> <laughs> shut her down. Shut her down. <laughs> yeah. Do another one, Bob, that's all right. Yeah, yeah. Couple Sounded minutes. good. I want to get you back to my home I want 
gonna get you and your friends alone Comfort till the sun comes up I think about you can grow into a trilogy Irish whiskey and bourbon blues and <laughs> scotch something I don't know scotch sadness so scotch sadness scotch <laughs> Sunday morning before church yeah yeah that's not a bad idea <laughs> This one's uh, on our EP. It's called Love Lost. Penned by a non-band leader, Garrett. Jagged from deep down, answers the return. 
Deception as a weapon like a sword Heart points the course Give my regards to the next man Who projects an even greater implication than the Lord As he falls, this man is a wreck That's coming down Since at the jail Sat the fellow At the end Of his shining How long is the? How many songs are on the EP? Just four. four. Yeah, four songs. Nice. So you got all the, enough material. Maybe the next one will be a double album. Huh? <laughs> Just kind of blow it out right out of the gate. Yeah, that'll be fun. Like twenty songs. Nice. We could go all night. <laughs> yeah. All right. Twenty originals at least. Yeah. What? Uh, what sort of uh, influences do you have, like, on your songwriting and stuff? Any anything in particular? Or? 
<laughs> We're pretty eclectic. I think we got it just about all covered across the four of us. Yeah, from Miles Davis to the Beach Boys. Sabbath. Sabbath. <laughs> well, Electric yeah. Wizard. Yeah. Lady Gaga. <laughs> sure. <laughs> cool. Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, this is a, the first. We haven't we didn't write this one. This is an old traditional fiddle tune. So sometimes does it feel like like some of those traditional tunes? It's like you're kind of slipping into a well-worn in shoe. You can just kind of just kind of get in there. You know how it all goes, and you, then you can just kind of pick your pieces out. And yeah, you find the pocket and you just stick to it, and everyone just gets to solo. Just to, yeah. 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 Is it is it? Uh, I mean, is it harder to solo on like some of your original stuff, or is it really any different? Uh, stylistically, I guess, you know, when you're doing traditional, you, you kind of got to play traditional. Yeah, kind of stick um, with it. <laughs> yeah, so when you write a tune, you know, you can kind of play to your own style, the song that you wrote. So I think it's almost easier to solo over stuff that we've written. Yeah, because you, you write it to fit with the way you want to play. Yeah, yeah. exactly.
Over yonder stand Little Maggie With a tram glass in her hand She's a drinking away all her sorrow With some now girl on some man there in that Ralph range a little you gotta kind of stretch a little bit don't you <laughs> is there any place in particular you guys are looking forward to playing once you things open up the Hofbrau yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh the filler is always I mean that's always fun yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, we got uh, we got about ten minutes left. So. We tune because we care, you know. Ha, 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 ha. 
you tune because you have a banjo in the band? No. <laughs> well, honestly, it doesn't matter if you tune a banjo. <laughs> yeah. As a banjo player, half your time spent tuning, and the other half is spent playing out of tune. <laughs> Yeah. Don't trust a word they say. That's an oxymoron. Wise words from a banjo player. <laughs> it's something you won't hear very often. <laughs>
Nice. There's Burner there. Well, I uh, want to thank you a lot for coming in tonight. You've been uh, watching In the Music Box and the Local Musician Spotlight here on KGVM and In the Music Box with Fountain Street Theater. It was a blast. And, thanks for uh, having us. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Bob. Thank you, Bob. Yeah. So people can uh, go to all the digital places, find the album, and uh, you've got a Facebook uh, page, find out what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fountain Street Theater on Facebook and Instagram. Um, you can find our EP on Spotify, Apple Music, Pandora, wherever you stream music. Cool. Yeah, so we'll be back next week with another episode of uh, Local Musician Spotlight. And uh, I think in two weeks we'll be back with another joint collaboration with uh, In the Music Box. So you can find this, I think, after the fact on YouTube in case somebody was, I don't know, locked down and couldn't watch tonight. So... Uh, Keep a look out there and keep it tuned to KGVM Bozeman. We do have Amy and Jill's show coming up next. And uh, I'll be back at 10 o'clock with Nocturnal Transmissions, play some rock and roll music for you. And uh, so we hope you keep listening to KGVM, keep watching In the Music Box, and uh, go check out Fountain Street Theater. All right.